Hey guys and welcome! So, in today's video we're gonna take a look at the new weapon unlock system implemented to Battlefield 5 and how you can actually use it. It's confusing to most people, I know it's been confusing to me at first when I started playing the game and today we're gonna explain all of it. Trust me, if you didn't know that you can unlock more weapons or customize those weapons with different attachments and even upgrade them, you're not the only one. Majority of players get it confused because the current system implemented to the game by DICE is, well, very awkward and confusing, so to say. So, let's get to it and see how you can actually unlock the weapons, upgrade them and customize them. Currently, the beta stage of the game doesn't allow you to perform those actions when you are on the server. So what you will have to do is go back to the main menu, quit the game and then you will see the company feature here. You click on it and then you have tons of options. You've got a different icon for each class in the game as well as different icon for each vehicle type in the game and next to those icons you can actually see the level, those numbers next to them, are the level at which your class is at currently. We're gonna need this information later, so just remember that you can always check it here. Next what you will do is go to either vehicle or certain class. So let's take a look at the assault class for example. Click on the icon and then go to the customize. Now you will see the screen showing your current combat role, which is Grenadier, the only one available in the beta, your primary weapon, which for me is currently the STG-44, the default carbine, sidearm, the ruby, which is not the default, it's actually the next pistol available in the game, and we can also see the gadgets, but let's focus on the primary weapon for now. Click on it and you will get three different options. One called upgrades, second one called customization, and the third one called more weapons. Let's start with the third one, even though it's not really in the order, but whatever. Click on it and you will see weapons available to play with. For me, it is STG-44, the Gewehr and the M1A1 Carbine, because I already unlocked those. Now, how do you unlock those? You have to reach a certain level of your class, in our case, this is the Assault class, for them to become available. But, here is the catch. Once those become available, you actually have to go to this menu and unlock them. They don't cost you anything in the beta, but they are not automatically unlocked. As you can see, in my case the Turner SMLE is still locked because I haven't reached level 10 of the Assault class yet, which in simple words means that I have to accumulate more points while playing the Assault class to get it to level 10 and then I will be able to unlock the Turner SMLE. The whole concept is fairly simple here, it's just that DICE decided to needlessly complicate it with weird menus and that's what makes it confusing. Alright, so now you know how to choose more weapons. What we will do now is go back, just press back or escape if you are on PC, and before we go further, make sure to look at the number in the orange circle. In my case, it says 6. This is the level of your individual weapon, which means that my STG-44 is at level 6 currently. Now let's check out the upgrades tab. You click on the upgrades and you can see a whole skill tree of upgrades that you can apply to your weapon. Now, in my case, I have already unlocked those by reaching a certain level on my weapon and then I purchased them using the grind currency that you can see in the right upper corner of the screen. Now, when you first get to this screen and you have level 0 on your weapon, you will first have to level up your weapon, not class, level up the weapon itself, then those will become available and then you can purchase them with the currency. It is quite complicated, I know I do not support the system, but that's how DICE designed it. One thing to remember about is that you can go either right or left with the skill tree. You cannot buy all of the perks at once. You can change them later, those are not permanent, However, there is one more thing to notice, there is no negativities when you purchase certain things. So, for example, when you reduce the horizontal recoil, there is no negative setback with any other statistic of the weapon. Those are only upgrades and they are not like with the previous titles where 
Each attachment made something better, but at the same time made certain statistics worse. Alright, let's go back and check out the last tab called Customization. Click on it and you will see a couple of different sections. You will have sides, muzzle, barrel, magazine receiver, rear grip and stock. Now, important thing to remember here. All of the things, except for the sides because you will have different sides options here, all of those things such as barrel, muzzle, magazine, all of them are only cosmetic. There is no difference when it comes to statistics and weapons performance. Those are only skins. There is nothing to customize here, except for the sides. If you go to the sides, you can pick different sides, but again, those are needlessly mixed up with the skins. So, some will give you scopes, but some will just give you a different look. It's, again, a simply stupid system and I do not support the way it is currently designed, but whatever, that's how it is. Of course, again, if you want to unlock those cosmetics or different sides, you will have to pay for those using the grind currency, which in fact is the same currency you use for the weapon upgrades, so I kindly recommend you go with the weapon upgrades first so that your weapon is actually better before you start buying shiny skins. Alright, one last thing I want to show you guys is how do you actually change gadgets in Battlefield 5. You go back to this screen and here you can customize everything. Click on the gadget, you will have different gadgets to replace it. Click on the grenade, you will have different types of grenades to pick. Click on the melee, you will have different melee weapon to choose. Again, same thing goes for the sidearm. There isn't really that many complicated things here because those are just choosing different things. There is no modifications. Anyway guys, that would be it for this short tutorial explaining all of the weapon unlocking and customization in Battlefield 5. As always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield.